Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, Microsoft has issued a uh, interesting um, little video and um, information about Microsoft Edge browser where it's heading and uh, how and what is actually the most important uh, feature or what is the most important thing they are working on when they actually upgrade and continue working on the Microsoft Edge Chromium based browser. As you know, if you move to the October 2020 update, this is the browser that now comes with Windows 10. Before the May 2020 update, um, and the May 2020 update itself, you had the legacy Edge, which was the old Edge that comes from the original release of Windows 10 in 2015. So with time, they um, decided to scrap that old legacy Edge and make a new one called Microsoft Edge once again with a new logo, but it is a Chromium-based browser. Once again, a lot of people um, confuse the fact that Chromium is not, and, and you know, Google Chrome is the same thing when it's not. Chromium is an open source project. Whatever you build on, you do the way you want it. It doesn't have to be based on any Google uh, features actually and Microsoft Edge actually works well on that it actually concentrates itself on Microsoft services instead so with the October 2020 update soon to be released Microsoft Edge Chromium is the browser now that's released with the version that's going to come out as of today Monday September 28th 2020 we are at version 85.0.564.63. That's the official build, official release of the Edge browser. Um, still get a lot of people uh, saying, well, you know, what's the advantage of moving to Microsoft Edge Chromium? Once again, I, I like to say that browsers are very personal things. And people use a browser for a specific reason. And I always say that whatever you use is always fine. Um, you know, it's your personal um, way of viewing the web and whatever you like is fine. I There's no, you know, the answer when it put, somebody asks what's the best browser, I don't have a definite answer. There's no answer to what's the best browser. The best browser is what makes you, what makes you really, uh, you know, productive, what you really like, and, and that's all. As long as it's updated and at its latest version to make sure that you're secure, that's the important thing about the browsers. But Microsoft Hedge has its own way of showing things and being what it is. So Microsoft um, issued a series of uh, information about what they um, are working mostly on Microsoft Edge. And actually, Google took a few ideas from Microsoft on this because one of the things that Microsoft has said over and over again is speed and power efficiency of the browser. And I think on the speed side of things, I think it's a, a really good browser. I personally think it's an amazing browser. And I, it's one of my favorites. I use uh, Edge all the time. I barely use Chrome except for a few things. And I love this browser. Once again, it's a personal thing. Um, one of the things that they said uh, going forward is that the browser itself is going to focus really on power efficiency and speed. Whatever feature they add, they always want the browser to use as minimal amount of power as possible. And in the minimal amount of power as possible, also the best speed possible. And uh, like I was saying, Google actually did use some of those um, ideas and implements them in Google Chrome to also make it a little more efficient in the way that it works. And of course, Microsoft makes its own take in its own way on the uh, Microsoft Edge browser. A lot, of, a lot of people are under the impression that uh, Microsoft Edge is you know, it's, it's going to be there to um, prevent anybody from doing anything and having other browsers. And this is not at all the case. Remember that one very simple thing. Internet Explorer was there for a long time. It never prevented you from installing another browser. 
Even the original Edge arrived and you could install any other browser you want. And Microsoft Edge Chromium is the same. It's just Microsoft's take on browser. You like it, you don't, it doesn't matter. You don't, just ignore it. You like it, use it. A lot of people that have adopted or even tried it actually like it. And more versions coming in the future. So now we have, of course, the Windows version. But what's interesting is that the uh, there's a Mac version for Mac OS. There's, of course, browser versions for your smartphone. So if you have an Android phone, you have Microsoft Edge on Android. What is nice with Microsoft Edge on Android and on PC at the same time, your, all your personal favorites, for example, what you see here at the top, my bookmarks, all of that, and even your settings and your preferences and search and so on, all synchronize, which means that you see the same thing on your smartphone that you'd see on your PC. It's making things so much easier uh, when you actually use a browser that synchronizes everywhere. But what's new and what's going to be interesting also as we talk about October 2020 update is that there's going to be a Linux version in a few weeks that insiders will be able to try on Linux, which is also kind of interesting, being the first time ever that Microsoft will actually have a browser that works on a Linux operating system. So this is going to be interesting to see. But uh, overall, Microsoft does say that what they are concentrating the most uh, is not just features. It's really to keep Edge Chromium at the, uh, the, the fastest possible speed for a browser and the browser that will take the least amount of power, meaning on a laptop, for example, it will make your battery life better. So uh, future is um, you know, going to have different new versions, of course, as we roll out. And uh, there are a lot of features coming that are still not here yet. Uh, more capabilities for PDF and PDF uh, annotation and, um, you know, form fill out and so on. Uh, collections feature and, you know, there are things that maybe we don't know yet that are going to actually arrive at some point also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.